as organizations are um, moving more and more business solutions to the cloud, those that are coming from a heavy regulated industry is, could be FinServe, healthcare, mm -hmm. life science, public sector, insurance, are sometimes looking to add yet another layer of security and protection in a form of encryption. Mm -hmm. And apply encryption on specific set of sensitive data. Could be sensitive personal identifiable information or yeah. PII, patient healthcare information or PHI or even intellectual property. Now this specific set of data could live in things like standard fields, mm -hmm. custom fields, unstructured content like charter files, uh, attachments, or maybe areas like chat or conversation, email to case correspondence, live agent transcripts, you name it. Yeah. Now, in order to help those organizations to adopt the cloud and send even more sensitive data to our cloud, we're now introducing the Salesforce Platform Encryption Solution. Ah. For the first time ever, customers can now apply strong encryption using an org-specific key on selected standard fields, mm -hmm. selected custom field types, as well as on unstructured content like chart of files or attachments. Wow. Yeah, this specific, uh, org specific key is being derived in a, in a hardware security module based key management system that deploys across uh, all the data center. Mm -hmm. This is a symmetric AES 256 bit key in CBC mode and random IV that we're using to encrypt and decrypt the customer data. Now on top of this system, we also build key management tooling so customers can interact with the keys, they can manage their encryption keys and take all in the chain of custody. Now the solution is 100% native to Salesforce, so it's built natively into the platform, which means that from customer perspective, it requires no additional hardware or software to deploy. Mm -hmm. Setup takes minute, minutes. And as such, uh, we get to preserve most of the core functionality with Salesforce and yet keep encryption strong. So things like validation rules or workflow rules, when they interact with encrypted mm -hmm. data, they just work seamlessly. And I will be demoing that. Right, that's a huge win for our customers. It's a needs. huge win. Huge. Yeah. So let's review the key capabilities with our Summer 15 release, our very first release. So first off, we have the key management tooling. So uh, if the running user has to be granted with the manage encryption key user perm mm -hmm. in order to uh, manage the encryption keys or what we call the keeper, the tenant secrets. Okay. So customers can go ahead and generate new secrets. They can rotate secrets. They can export the secret for backup purposes okay. or they can uh, destroy, the secrets, de destroy the secret and then the data will be inaccessible or we import it back if they want. Okay. Now they can do that declaratively, again, via the setup UI mm -hmm. or programmatically via the SOAP API. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, support for standard fields. So we allow you to, to apply encryption on selected fields, uh, mostly under the contact entity, including okay. the contact name, email, phone, address fields. Uh, as well as the account name under the account entity. Mm -hmm. Again, you can do that declaratively or programmatically via the metadata API. We're also supporting uh, five custom field types, including okay. the custom short and long text area, uh, custom email, phone, and URL, and you can apply encryption on brand new custom, uh, custom fields or existing custom fields. Aha. So this is, this is awesome. And there is no impact on, on field length. So in this example, for in this example, you can actually type in 131k characters in this long text area, and all of it will get encrypted at rest. So there's no impact on your, on your business users. That's fantastic. Which is awesome, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, lastly, we also allow encryption on unstructured content like charter files, content files, mm -hmm. files under the file tab, or the attachment body. Mm -hmm. Again, in just one click. Yeah. Now, on top of field encryption, uh, on top of field encryption, we have also masking. Mm -hmm. So in order to read encrypted field values in the clear, you'll have to be granted with the view encrypted data user permission. Otherwise, you will see just mask as you see on the right-hand side of the screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, if you have any backend integrations, so the integration user, when it read, needs to read sensitive data from your Salesforce org, it needs to be granted with the view encrypted data per permission in order to read it in clear text. Again, okay. otherwise you will see it just mask. So enough talking, let's see it in action, right? Please. Yeah, so let's switch over to, to the demo org. This is a summer 15 pre-release developer org that I created. I'll just navigate to the, to the platform encryption node that we added under the security controls. And obviously we can demo encryption. So what I'll show you is the setup and also how it plays together with the functionality and especially with a couple of app exchange solutions. Great. So this is what I have. I already have uh, set up the key. I just hit a button here to create the key. And I also enabled encryption on a few fields, including the account name, the contact name, uh, phone and email address. And next, I want to go and navigate to the, uh, 
to a custom field that I created under the contact entity and applied encryption on to store the social numbers. So you can see here that I applied encryption on it. Again, you can apply encryption on new fields or existing fields. Mm -hmm. This is how you tick the box. Simple as that. Again, no code. You can do it all declaratively. And I also want to activate this validation rule to check the, for to check the format and length. Remember, the data is encrypted, but yet I can run things like validation rules to check the input and uh, format. So I'll just activate it and hit save. Next, I want to grant the view encrypted user permission, view encrypted data user permission to this user so you will see the data in plain text. So I have a permission set ready here. Great, we all set. So let's now go and create a new account. Remember, the account name is encrypted. Mm -hmm. I'll just call it Acme Global or something and hit save. And I'll go ahead and create a contact, then associate that to the account that we created through the lookup search, because I want to show that the search also work. So let's just call it John Smith. Let's put some invalid social, social number, because we want the validation rule to pop up, and some phone number here. And let's search for the for the encrypted account. Mm -hmm. We have a match here. Remember, the account name is encrypted. And hit save. Great, the validation rule popped up, so we're hey. good. Let's put something valid here. And hit save. Great. So now I want to show you how it plays well with uh, some of the app exchange solutions. I chose Conga. Ah. So I just installed Conga Composer in this uh, trial log. I did zero changes to the source code. I just did some customization to the welcome letter. I used the standard welcome letter that's available on the, on the site. So I'll just uh, kick it in. And what it does, it just takes the, the information and just plug it into the template. So I'll choose the welcome template. And I also want to show you how we can self save the document as a shadow file and how we get the shadow file encrypted and yet the, the, the preview preserved. So I'll just uh, choose Shutter, then Merge and Download. Great, we should be good now. So just go back to the contact record. Refresh the page now. Here is the Shutter file. We can see that the file ended up encrypted. You can see on the bottom left, left hand side of the screen, we can see that the preview also preserved. And we can see that the data, the encrypted data, including the account and contact name, also plugged in in, in plain text, which is awesome, yeah. right? We, we did zero changes to the source code. We just installed it, and it works. Bam. Great. Now I want to use Data Loader mm -hmm. to import some more data into this org. So let me just um, switch over to my Data Loader here. Should we already be logged into that? And I have a contact file here. Plugging some data into the encrypted custom and standard fields that I created now. Data loader uses the API. So I want to show you that once you just apply encryption on a field, no matter when the data comes into it, either, either via the standard API or the UI or desktop, the data will be ended up encrypted at rest. Great, we should have the data in. So let's just run a report. So we should see the data in clear text now, right? You can see the data in. You can see all the records in. Uh, why don't we just use the Aperio SQL Query tool to query the data and put it nicely on the Visual Force page? Sure. Again, I'm using the Aperio, Aperio tool, uh, which is available on the developer community. I did zero changes to the source, source code. I just right. installed it and started to use it. So let me just customize the query here. And querying for the contact first name, last name, and social number. And we can see that the data came up in the clear here. We don't have social numbers here. This is why it came up, came up blank. But you can see that the data here is in plain text. Now let's do a quick pause here and log in as a user that is uh, not granted with the view mm -hmm. encrypted data user permission and see what he sees when he's running the very same uh, query. So I'm logging in as James now. 
I'm navigating to the Sokal query tool here, and I'll just run the very same query and see what he sees when he's trying to query it. He, is, he sees only mask. So remember, uh, we're querying it behind the scenes, and then on the presentation layer, we're just showing it masks, okay. which is great. Now, if you switch over back, back to the slides, I want to... I want to talk about the availability of the solution. Yes. So the Summer 50, we've, we've been running a pilot for the last 12 months or so uh, with about 200 customers and partners uh, in their actual sandbox and developer orgs. We got tons of feedback. Uh, uh, we, have, we still have a long way to go, but we're, our GA release is really solid. Uh, we're taking it to GA now. It will be generally available with the Summer 15 release. Okay. Uh, you can try today on a Summer 15 uh, pre-release developer edition org, okay. uh, today and for the next 10 days or so. But it will be also available for everybody in developer orgs, brand new developer orgs from Summer 15 and on. Uh, and as an add-on in Enterprise Edition and above. Okay. Um, and lastly, let's talk about roadmap. So we're going to invest in expanding encryption over to other data elements that we're not supporting today. It could mm -hmm. be standard fields, other custom field types that we're not supporting today, as well as some other uh, content encryption, uh, things like charter conversation, for example. So we're going to, in each and every release, we're going to expand encryption uh, to other areas. Uh, next, we're going to invest a lot in making more functionality and features encryption aware and make sure that they mm -hmm. interact seamlessly or as seamlessly as possible with, with uh, encrypted data and respect also masking. So this is another area where we need to invest and we're gonna invest in, uh, in the future. And lastly, we're gonna build more key management tooling to allow customers to, to uh, manage their encryption keys and take, take even more role in the mm -hmm. chain of custody. Um, this is what we're, we're gonna take to GA, really excited about that. It's been a, a, a lot of work from our team to, to, to bring it to this point. I'm really excited about that and looking forward to hear what they're, what they're tweeting about. Great. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you think your team is excited about this. I mean, for a subset of our customers, this isn't just a cool feature. This, this fills a need. I mean, this is, this is something that customers have been asking for for a while, and I am so excited to hear what they're saying. Elna, what are we hearing? Well, there is definitely a lot of excitement and, and a lot of, lot of traffic going on on Twitter, and I want to thank everybody for participating. So one quick question. What encryption technique does this use, and has the level of encryption changed with this release? Can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, so first off, uh, the data is encrypted uh, in transit regardless platform encryption. Mm -hmm. Platform encryption only comes to uh, bring your solution what happens to when the data is persisted in a database or file system. Mm -hmm. So it is encrypted while in transit regardless platform encryption. With platform encryption, we offer customers to apply strong encryption on the data. Mm -hmm. We're using uh, symmetric AES 256-bit keys in CBC mode and random IV, which means that every time you encrypt the exact same plaintext, you get totally different ciphertext. Okay. And we apply the exact same uh, key on all the data. Great. Yeah. Great, thank you. That was for Larry. Um, and Mark is asking, what does encrypted data look like to those who should not see it? So uh, we just demo it, they see just masks, yeah. right? So encrypted field values, in order to read encrypted field values, you have to be granted with the view encrypted data user permission. Uh, otherwise, you will see just masks, just uh, a string of asterisks, basically. Uh, very silly admin 101 question. Now, will the view all data uh, permission, will that override if an administrator doesn't have the view encrypted data? No, you will need to add the view encrypted data in addition to view all data. Excellent. Yep. Thanks for clearing that up. And is there anything that we need, they need to install, or is there a setup? How much time does it take to set this all up? So setup takes minutes, which is awesome, right? Yeah. We literally try it out today. Setup takes minutes. Uh, uh, and we, there are no third-party solutions or vendors that are involved here. All the hardware is installed across the data centers. Mm -hmm. It's in the Salesforce environment. So you could try it out. It will take you minutes to set up. And that kind of ease of setup and that ease of use, that's what you get with a native solution, which is, you know, this is the first native Salesforce solution for this, correct? Correct. Wow. These, these are incredible days. Yep. <laughs> Ella, do we have anything else uh, on platform encryption? Uh, we, maybe one more question if sure. you have time. Um, when you apply encryption, is existing data encrypted automatically? No. How does that work? So when you apply encryption, either on files or, or standard fields or custom fields, 
uh, the data that will be keyed into this data elements from that point on mm -hmm. will be ended up encrypted. We're not going and actively rotating the existing okay. data. However, we are working on uh, a service that will allow customers to opt in and get all their existing data uh, mass encrypted using the, the most current key. Okay, when is, that we're working when is that going to be available? Is that is that for a future release? This is for a future release. Good. Yeah, Just this is not sure. coming in the summer fifteen release, but okay. uh, in special cases we can work out with the customers and see if we can help them. But at large, this is this is a roadmap item. This Correct. is something that applies to our safe harbor state. This is a roadmap.